So in this video tutorial, I'm going to hopefully show you how to take a drawing from ArchiCAD to the laser cutter in via Illustrator, and this is how we're going to do um, just the floor plan. So first thing we want to do is just sort of negotiate our model and figure out what views uh, we want to keep. So in my case, I'm just going to do the first floor, which can be replicated. So you see there's nothing on the basement. Ground has sort of the site plan and the contours and whatnot. First floor has the first floor plan, second floor, uh, nothing on the roof because the roof is on this floor. So that means we want to keep the first floor and the ground floor at this stage. So let's delete the other ones, just holding down the control and shift buttons to delete these. Just quickly go to the 3D view again and just make sure that's all looking okay. Awesome. I'm just going to keep deleting some stuff. Um, so if laser cutting this stage, if you wanted to have these sort of extra balcony slab bits you could kind of cut them up on a new layer. I'm not going to worry about that so I'm just going to delete that and that and the slab actually as a whole but we might do that in the grounds plan. And the idea being with that that in Illustrator later on that I can just sort of draw what I need in a different color and it's actually going to be easier to deal with than uh, trying to fix that up in ArchiCAD. So I'm just uh, selecting my mesh and getting rid of it um, and you'll see that I've got just kind of like a slab at this stage. Get rid of, get rid of that one soon. Uh, and these are my elevation and section markers. So it's almost there. I'll get rid of that thing. Cool. And now you can see I've just got a basic house. Um, so again going back to that first floor it looks like it's pretty clean already, um, but there's some things I want to do to fix this up. So firstly, if I select uh, one of my section views and then right-click and select, all, um, sorry, hold down the shift button, select all of them, then right-click and delete them all. This is just going to clear up this view. And I'll do the same thing here. Now the orange is just simply saying that I can see it from the level below. So if I right-click and click show as trace reference, that'll just sort of clear that up. Um, ground floor, I don't know what that is. But basically now I've either got the slab and I've got the first floor of the house. So this is a pretty good start. Um, so obviously I'm not worried about the depth of this slab, even though it looks like it's probably going to be a bit deep. Um, probably my next step is going to be to actually merge these two layers together. So if I come over to my, um, my layouts and I go to design and put my plan down, sort of looking at the ground plan, by default, my slab will come in, which is oh, yeah, which is okay, and my floor plan is coming in on the first. So obviously that's quite natural and good in a way. But um, what I need to do in this stage is actually have them on the same same layout. So I'm going to go back here and just sort of try and merge them from one level to the other. So to do that, I'm going to go to the 3D view. I'm going to press Control F, which will allow me to select everything. If I press this plus button over here. I can select all of the walls, press the plus button. I'll next select all of the windows, even though they're just knockout windows for the laser cutting. And I'll select all of the doors as well, which are again just open bits at this stage. What I'm going to do is just come up here and change the story from being first to ground. And we'll probably see everything will sink. Yeah, okay, as expected, everything sort of sunk down. So what I need to do here is just um, raise up my my walls and everything whilst it's all selected and I'm just going to change this B height. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say 1000. Um, so you can see it's almost there. Probably needs to come up maybe another 200. Um, looks like it's pretty good. I'd see if 300 is any better. So hopefully um, you don't have these issues on your model but if you do this is how we fix them. Um, so if I come over to my first floor now there's nothing there, which is fantastic, so I can delete this story. Have a go back over to my plan view um, on the grounds. Great, we'll see that it's all visible there now. So it's almost um, ready, but not quite. So I'll go back to the gen uh, generic perspective again. Uh, and what I'm going to do next might sound a bit odd, but remember, the idea is that this is a different process um, to get the floor plan, as opposed to if I was trying to laser cut each of the walls, which is a different video. So again, if I press Control F, I'm going to select all of the doors and press plus. And at this stage, I'm going to press the delete button. So you've just seen that I've taken out a bit of detail, but at the same time in my floor plan, 
Uh, it actually makes this a lot neater. So I've got some windows here, but otherwise I had doors here, which were going to interrupt my drawing for the uh, for the next step. So I'll select all of my windows as well, plus, and just press delete. Cool. So now I've got a terrible looking house, um, but if I go to my ground floor, I'll actually have a half decent um, floor plan which I can use to engrave into hopefully foam core. So if I engrave this into foam core, this will hopefully uh, make a nice trench for the walls that I laser cut to fit into. So hopefully I won't need too much glue when I'm making this model. Uh, the next step I'm going to do, um, just to make sure everything's the right scale, I'm going to again select all of the walls. So control F, select the walls and plus. Now up the top here, uh, I'm just going to change the, the sort of the material from being this sort of cavity, whatever it was. What I'm going to do is select one of these ones which has a cavity of 270. The reason being that we're going to be hopefully using th um, three millimeter ply at a scale of one to 100. So this should be about the right size for us to squeeze our foam core in. And obviously if you're using a different size foam core, maybe 1.5, uh, you'd go with maybe a 150. Okay, so I'm going to select one of these 270s and just uh, change everything to that, which is good. Uh, and from here, hopefully everything should work. So I'll just go double check my view here. Wonderful. And my plan here. Okay, that's looking okay. I might just try and fix this up a little bit. Um, so I'll select this drawing. So I'm just going to zoom it out a bit. Wonderful. The idea is I just want to make sure I've got all of my view um, there. Um, what I'm going to do is just change this layout to A3. This way I have some sense of idea of how big this is going to be in the real world. And yeah, that looks like it's going to be about right. Now, one thing here, which isn't real, really good, is uh, the scale here is locked at 1 to 1. Um, although it says scale of 1 to 100 here, Unfortunately, it's locked to one-to-one -one here. Um, I don't necessarily know how to get around that at this stage, so um, we can fix that up when we go into the next step. So the next step here is to save it in our folder. Um, we're going to save it as a DWG. So file, save as, uh, desktop, and I'm calling this Archi. And here I'm going to save the translator as being the built-in translator. I'm going to call this just um, first floor and save. Now, obviously, you might like to save a copy of this project at this stage um, so that you can come back to it if need be. You'd want to save a copy of your file. That way, hopefully, you could revert back to the rest of your house to do the next step. Okay, so um, anyways, at this stage, we're going to progress and just do the, the DWG and special built-in um, translator and save. So that will take a moment to save. And remember it's saved at a scale of one to one. So I'm going to locate that file. And if I right click on it and I open with Illustrator, uh, a couple of things come up. Um, so ideally if it's a scale of one to one, one to 100, I'd choose original size scale one to one millimeters and press okay. But when we bring it in in this sense, um, if I grab my measuring tool, I know this wall this wall is meant to be about six meters. So six meters. Actually, it looks like it's coming all right. We're looking at this W in here, so that should be all good. If it does come in at a weird scale, we just need to change. Um, I'll show you. If it does come in at a weird ratio, we just need to play around with the um, scale that we bring it in by. So sometimes you might have to scale it by 1% if it doesn't come in correctly. So this is going to, going to come in OK right now, so I'll click OK. Um, and in, in here, I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to just get rid of the, um, the technical aspects of an architectural print uh, just so I can get a cleaner bit of paper for my for my laser cutting. Uh, I'm going to press Control A, which will select all of my lines, and I'm going to type in stroke. So our laser cutter requires a 0.01 setting. 
um, and I'm going to change the color to be nothing as a fill. I'm going to change the line color to be blue to uh, do a, a quick raster engrave, sorry, a vector engrave. So I'm just going to change this color here and the setting will be 255 for blue and 00 for the other two, obviously RGB. So now hopefully that will be okay. Good, uh, good trick is just to press Control A again and just again force this stroke. You'll see that some things haven't come to the right size still. And now if I press Control Plus, I can zoom in, uh, Control Minus to zoom out. But what I'm actually going to try and try and do is actually laser cut it like this. The idea being that um, it should follow our paths pretty well. And um, in essence, I've got this wall cut out somewhere. And if I look into it, I actually see that this piece um, will be the firm edge of my firm core, as will this bit. Uh, and these lines, I can delete them, but they don't necessarily um, sort of have to be deleted. Uh, when you laser cut foam core, you sort of get a little bit of a concave cutaway um, shape. So if we just leave all of these in, it might take a fraction longer to, on the laser cutter, but it'll actually create a nice little trench for our pieces to sit in. Um, so from here, hopefully you can operate your laser cutter. Um, hopefully check back soon and there'll be a video on how to represent your roof in a correct and true way again to laser cut. Thank you.